I was here YouTube. Welcome back to another freaking reaction video. In this video, we got Abba and Preach react to Andrew Tate's band, The Censorship of Backfire. See, me personally, I'm. I watched some of Abba and Preach videos. I just started watching them. I watched some of their videos. I don't really. And, you know? But we finna see what this time by the record time. My dog, Andrew Tate, no okay. care. Like, Andrew Tate's banned from Facebook and Instagram. He's a genuine. Th to young men. He has drawn criticism from online comments, particularly- He's a genuine threat to young men? What the crap? <laughs> this how you know, bro. This is how you know, bro. No, I'm just watching the video. The UK advocacy group Hope Not Hate, which welcomed the most recent day. We welcomed Meta Shift's action to remove Andrew Tate and we would press on TikTok to follow this example. They must act now to prevent further spread of these extremist views. He's banned from Instagram, Facebook, okay. and very likely he's going to be banned from other so first off, I don't think this ban matters at all. It don't. <laughs> I don't think it matters at all because I think their attempt is to like stop this person who in their eyes is like spreading misogyny. Even if that's how you view him and that's what you think he's doing, um, you haven't stopped whatever the movement he's coming from is. He's just a figurehead. Just a face. The issues between men and women, this gender-related war that exists in our society still goes on. There's going to be somebody else who comes in this place, and that stuff will never change. The second reason why it doesn't matter is that he doesn't even spread his own videos. He, he doesn't a have a YouTube channel <laughs> yeah. where he's spreading all this stuff. He, he doesn't even have a, a TikTok channel where he's spreading this stuff. It's random people who are spreading this stuff. Who's posting this thing? They're posting it. They're, they're taking clips. They're posting it everywhere. They're getting interviews like... Unless you ban all mention of this man, it is impossible to stop it. But the minute that So they're gonna be in every comment section, reposting it on every channel, going commentate W, and guess what? You can't stop it. You Unless can. you ban all mention of it beyond how dislikable he is. All right, let's take ourselves out of we hate this dude, okay? Or you hate this dude, or whoever hates this dude. I don't hate it. Think I don't about hate it. <laughs> what another. matters in this, which Changing is my life around. all the young folks who gravitated towards his message. Towards this message. Were they all somebody who were put under a spell? Or were there a lot of societal issues that existed that created the perfect melting pot for someone like this to come to prominence? Whether you like it or not, be it fresh and fit, any of these red pill dudes, whatever you want to choose, what is it that makes people get drawn to them? And this is what I've been saying for a long time. When I did the other video, I'm like, listen, red pill for me, but I understand why it's necessary, yeah. right? You can hate these movements, you can be against them, but until you deal with the underlying societal problems that lead to these movements, everything else is just putting a band-aid on an infected wound. That's what it is. That's what it is. You're not coming to the concerns of any of these young men, which whether you like it or not, Andrew Tate spoke to, to some degree. Well, why can't they choose a better? There are no better role models. I don't know how many times I have to say, I, I get so sick and tired of fucking women just coming out of the woodwork to be like, well, they're, they're better. What role models? Go yeah. ahead, point them out. I agree. Good luck. I'll wait. I agree. Because I've had people send me. And you know what? None of them have any advice that are useful on dating. Most of them have terrible advice, if any. Okay? And they have little to no experience. So I don't really care to hear from them. So I want, I want y'all to peep the whole formula. We didn't talk about what men were dealing with for a long time. It led to this. Now, someone starts talking about it. You're like, don't speak about it. So now we're going back to the very point. They're like, don't plot for this person. Don't speak with them. Well, it's like, well, people want these issues addressed. No, no, no. Get somebody else. There's better role models. Okay. So let me ask you, where are all these positive role models that y'all been encouraging this entire time? Where have they? Where are they? Mm. Where, when, when have they rose to prominence? Why aren't they going viral? Oh, if there's bro. so many good ones out there and you guys encourage them and support them What's and then they should be pushed up in these algorithms. How come it's never happened? Oh, no, that's not. Can anyone tell me? There's so many positive ones. Don't look at me. How come in the last models. 30 years of my fucking life, I have not seen a single one of these motherfuckers ever promoted on national television or anywhere else? How come no young men have ever gravitated towards these people? Can anybody tell me? I'll wait. Since there's so many, I'll wait. Tell me where these motherfuckers are at. Oh, we got one. Who? Bill Cosby. So I ask you. Right, and this is the, the more important Bill part. Just get past the band. The band is just feel good bullshit. You can tell okay? very this much older. Anything. How do you get to the real problems, which are the issues that men are facing that they feel are I'm not? Preacher, always look like he about to cry. That's what I want to know. Like who puts himself in the? It's boys. They'll be fine. It's funny. It's really funny that they want men to talk. They want men to like to say what they got to say, and the minute we do, it's like ah, oh, we hate. Ah, oh, we, 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 we this and that and the third. We can't have both people. 
Like we can't have both. Today's video is brought to you by Raycon. Oh, we have I'll be the most five. Always want men to talk and to open up. We open up about a shit. Eh. Fuck all this. The other day, the other day I was talking and I was triggered and I was talking about whatever. You saw the clip. I never seen. I was ta man. tired of being told like that I was not black enough and this and that. It was often I, I told exactly who the perpetrator is. That was me opening up. That was me opening up and being frank. And being real with y'all, couple of y'all, uh, couple of y'all dropped me my DM. There's one particular lady that dropped me my DM. I didn't read the whole message, but whatever. The minute I saw that, I, I switched. I'm a, I'm a follower. I'm a follower, but I gotta be. I gotta say that I'm a bit disappointed in you. First and foremost, I'm not your dad. Okay, I'm disappointed. You have to understand what the woman, what the black woman is saying. At that point, that was not the point of my intervention. I told on this sad channel many, many times that I understood. I do understand that's why most time i shut the fuck up but i gotta tell that you motherfuckers are the perpetrators sometimes when you open up you're being told to shut the fuck up so how do we solve it Hunger. and who's the role model there's a reason why that guy gets so popular like he said it's not some kind of spell it ain't magic you have you have to ask yourself okay why you know people say this stuff well we shouldn't platform these people you know one of my personal take is i want to hear these people yeah. When I listen to Andrew, I don't buy into a lot of the stuff he says. I think a lot of that shit's goofy. I think he's kind of that's me personally. But I want to hear it. You want to know why? I agree with everything like, I he understand said. 95% of the time, he everything the that he, he says is facts. And I'm not with that. And I understand why I'm not. And someone else can look at him and be like, I mean, I agree with some of the stuff he say, but not. Like I said, I, I may not agree with some of the stuff Andrew Chase say. Because some, some stuff like. Crap. I will give an example. But, bro. 95% of everything he say is 100% facts or relationships it's 100% I mean 95% facts I say 100% 95% facts I identify with that it is. I'm with that okay then the next step beyond that is we all have an, a better understanding of what we agree or disagree with and then somebody else who's a much better role model quote unquote apparently you guys have him can come out and show just as much charisma and be just as drawing and then we have all these ideas conflicted. Try to get me copyrighted again, huh? Gotcha. Gotcha. So that doesn't happen. You it's facts. Know. I ain't gonna cap. I don't know a better role model than Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is motivational, inspiring, bro. So why you think I'm inside um, freaking Hustle University? It's facts. He's the only person that speaks facts. He's the only person that say the truth, really, that I watch. Know why? Because there is he no a W role model. I ain't gonna care. So now they just see this guy getting bigger and bigger with no count. And by role model, I don't mean I want to be like that. And Andrew now they want to ban it to make themselves feel better. I want to have the you mindset that he have. The solution, right? You didn't say why. That, uh, that you, didn't, you didn't say mindset. how we're gonna fix a problem. You just said get rid of him, get rid of the figurehead. Now, of course, there's young impressionable people, and they're gonna be swayed, and it's gonna cause problems. But I would argue these are problems that we have to deal with. These are problems that we have to deal with as a society and confront this issue rather than just trying to ban it outright and not discuss the problem. Because if we're honest, nobody's trying to talk about it. I've watched a bunch of the news coverage on this dude that was happening on mainstream channels. And you know what they were just saying? Oh, he's a misogynist and uh, he's inappropriate for young people. It's like, well, why are the young people gravitating towards him? What are the issues? How come y'all never spend time discussing that? No? Okay. I just noticed a pattern. I noticed a pattern, and the reason why I'm telling you- A lot you, of people call him misogynist, bro, simply because he said that he don't want a woman driving his car on his plane. And you can't blame him. That man said he'd been in all of his accidents that he'd been in, he had a female driving. If all the accidents that two females was in was a dude driving, would you still feel safe with dudes driving you? Exactly, bro. And I think it was more than like five times he got into a car accident with females driving. So, I mean- you can't, like, they call him sexist for anything, bro. It's crazy. You know this, when you watch him, whether you hate him or love him, I don't care. This is going to happen a hundred times more. And it's going to... Uh, uh, that nigga said, fun fact, bro. That nigga said, fun fact, bro. A hundred percent of the women I have sex with... I mean, a hundred percent of people I have sex with are women. Fuck, I'm stuttering my ass And let me also say this. When you ban somebody, you know what happens? You just create a hero. Because they... 
people who want information for themselves like why are you guys keeping me from this guy let me hear him and then they're going to listen to a couple of his clips right the more tame ones that are allowed to stay online they're like this guy makes a lot of sense he do you know when he's talking about the fact that a lot of young men are lonely like i get that it's facts why is this guy banned you guys are going to create somebody who's pretty much unbeatable and now so there you go it's just weird the way <laughs> hold up are. didn't they just ban trump yeah didn't they just ban trump ain't he about to win for a second fucking term they try not to make that happen, but but yeah, you know the thing. It's weird how you act is you think this guy, the this Andrew too? Tate guy, is a cancer, right? So he's a symptom of a cancer, really. Mm -hmm. By removing him and not addressing the root, the cancer just comes back stronger. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. If you just remove the lump without addressing the root, the cancer comes back stronger. You're not solving the issue. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. If I have a recurring pain, oh, well, you have, but why, why do you want to address that? You have other functioning body parts in your body. That's what you're doing. That's you. Hmm. That's you. You have other, other places that are working in your body. You're good. It don't work like that. Mm -hmm. If I have an issue, I have to address the issue. And sometimes to address the issue and to fix the issue, you have to comprehend it. Mm. If you don't understand it and you just remove it, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. But that's just me. So I understand why he's banned. I just went on the technical term of it, mm -hmm. right? But I understand the, the fact that that's not how you solve the, the situation. I understand I why he banned too. Because when people speak the truth, when people say stuff that, that um, when people talk like they don't give a fuck what nobody else got to say about their opinion, they take it down. Like, it's fact. I just didn't want to repeat myself from other videos that we did. Yeah. Well, listen, let us know what you guys think. Do you guys agree or disagree? Um, we want to hear from you guys. You guys I mean, he can't get canceled. Good thing. Do you think it's going to lead to a better world? Or do you think it's just more of the same? I want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what's going to happen? Do you think it's going to lead to a better world? Or I feel like we're not a, not a world. We're going to say the same. <laughs> I feel like it. I have a good day, bro. Keep being honest. You smiling out of that W reaction video, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Andrew T in the comments. See y'all in the next video.